EvacuSafe's tracked evacuation stair chairs are designed to enable the safe and comfortable evacuation of mobility-impaired people in the event of an emergency such as a fire. The XLE-powered chair is EvacuSafe's motorized evacuation stair chair that allows a vulnerable person to be evacuated up and or down a flight of stairs. Lightweight yet incredibly strong, the chair can accommodate a passenger weighing up to 182 kilograms or 28 and a half stones and climb multiple flights of stairs on a single charge. To charge the battery, make sure the power is switched off and then plug the power adapter into the battery and the wall receptacle. If the receptacle needs to be switched on, make sure you do so. It takes three to four hours to reach a full charge. Once the battery is fully charged, the power adapter indicator light will turn green. The battery is now ready for installation. To install the battery, slide it into the battery housing. Turn the key to lock the battery into position and turn on the battery. It is now ready for use. It is recommended to remove one of the two supplied keys and keep it in a safe place. When not in use, the battery charge will dissipate over a 8 to 10 week period. If you do not keep it plugged in, be sure to recharge the battery one to two times per month. The control panel at the top of the chair has seven functions. This is the power button. Use this to turn the chair on and off. This is the battery power indicator. Red means low battery and green means a full charge. This is the alarm. If this light is flashing, please refer to the alarm codes in your instruction manual before operating. This is the speed selector switch. The chair has three different speeds. Start with the lowest speed and do not increase until you are comfortable. This is the direction switch. Press this button to switch from ascending to descending mode. This is the LED light switch. This will turn on and off the LED guide light. These are the motor buttons. Press either button to begin powering the chair. The chair should be located near the exit stairway it is meant to serve and held in position on the hooks provided. Begin by removing the protective cover and then place the chair on the ground in a suitable position. Engage the brake mechanism by pressing down on the red foot pad. Next, release the support strap and open the chair by pushing down on the seat until you hear the bar lock into place. Ensure that the tracks are locked into place by pushing down on the bar with the two red locks. Check that the battery is installed. If it is connected to its charging cable, remove it and ensure the power is switched on. Open the two red spring clips that allow you to raise the handle. Once raised, close the two red spring clips and ensure they've been engaged to lock the handle in place. Transfer the person onto the seat according to your personal emergency evacuation plan and fasten the support harness over their shoulders. Lower the armrests, which, if required, can be used to support the transfer. Then, open out the footrest and you're ready for your exit. Once the person is in the chair, release the brake mechanism by placing your foot on top of the red foot pad and press down. Move the chair to the bottom of the stairwell with your hands in the pushing position on the outsides of the handle. Turn the chair to face away from the stairs and, with the operator on the stairs, tilt the chair backwards to lay the tracks on the bottom two stairs. Once you are ready to begin ascending the stairs, turn the power button on, press the direction button until it is set to ascend and press and hold either of the motor buttons. While ascending, keep downward pressure on the handle and walk backward up the stairs while still holding down the motor button. Once you reach the top of the stairs, place one hand on the side of the handle, move away from the top step, release the motor button and return the chair to an upright position. To descend a flight of stairs using the XLE powered chair, first move the chair to the top of the stairwell with your hands in the pushing position on the outsides of the handle. Switch your hands from the pushing position to the top of the handle and place your foot on the green track assembly bar to lever the chair back. Make sure you don't lever the chair too far back or the gliding tracks will catch on the floor. Maneuver the chair forward until the wheels roll over the first step and the track makes contact with the stair edge. Once you are ready to begin descending the stairs, turn the power button on, press the direction button until it is set to descend and press and hold either of the motor buttons. While descending, ensure the tracks make contact with the second and third stairs and keep downward pressure on the handle and walk down the stairs. Once you reach a landing, release the motor button to stop the tracks. Return the chair to four wheels and maneuver to the top of the next flight of stairs. No matter which direction you are moving, once you've reached the ground floor, maneuver to the final exit. To return the chair to storage, engage the brake mechanism by placing your foot on top of the red foot pad and pressing down. Undo the red spring clips on the handle, gently lower the handle and close the spring clips. Lift the handle until it locks into place. Pass the support harness through and over the handle. Next, fold the arms back and close the chair from the side by releasing the red locking mechanism on the track. 
push forward from the top handle and fold the chair together. Pass the lower part of the support harness through the footrest and connect to the upper harness. Once you've finished, place the chair back into its storage location and replace its protective cover. Switch the power button on the battery to the off position and, if necessary, plug in the charging cable.